The community of Cyprus in 1956 was nothing like it is today. We moved into the parsonage, and the day we got there, there were cows in the front yard. There was not one restaurant. Uh, you had to go in practically to Houston to find a restaurant, and I had to go to Tomball to find a grocery store. And we only had one elementary school, one junior high, and one high school. Oh, very different. There was no stores in Cyprus at all. And there, there was not a lot of stores any place. Uh, there was no Willowbrook. Some of the streets were still rocky, rocks. Uh, so it was very different. It was just a country town. So in 1956, the process of starting a credit union was, in our case, 10 school teachers coming together, filling out the necessary application. Uh, that application went to, at that time, the Social Security Administration Department of Human Services and was uh, reviewed to make sure that there was some employer support for the organization since it would be volunteer run and volunteer led for, for the foreseeable future. And the rest was uh, sort of hoping that there was enough energy there to carry that organization forward and that it would be well run. And uh, in our case, uh, there was these fantastic volunteers, people who worked for the school district, sometimes in administrative roles, who would take deposits, put them in their desk, who would keep the necessary ledger and records to keep that organization going. And I think that is reflective of who SciFair Federal Credit Union is today. You don't start a credit union unless you have a desire to help other people, and that's who SciFair Federal Credit Union is today. I've heard stories about the early days that Pat Wilburn shared with me through the years, and uh, it, it, makes, it really makes me chuckle to think how we started out. But in those days, Melva Witt was um, the membership officer, I believe, for the credit union. And she was Carlos Watkins' secretary at the time. And that members would go to her to make deposits and that she would keep, uh, keep it all in her desk drawer. And that by the time I came along in 1984, and that was back in 1956, in the early days, and it just, uh, it just really amazed me to think uh, how primitive it was in the early days. I became aware of the credit union in 1970. I came out to Cypress Fairbanks as a teacher and coach, and uh, I was elated to know that we had a credit union, albeit not anything like it is now, but uh, it was a, really a good selling point to me, and we used it recruiting people too. There was an opening on the board, and uh, I was asked, if I would like to uh, fill the last year of that term. Uh, I did, and then I ran for a term. I uh, then served three years uh, on the board, and uh, I retired from the school district and retired from the board. <laughs> well, Pat Wilburn was the boss president or what do they call them at that time and she was a very um, enlightened lady and straightforward and really and, you know knew her job well and then after Pat was Debbie Blackshear and she filled Pat's shoes really well you know just carried on just like it was uh, very important to both of them. Now that's the one <laughs> When I joined that day, Debbie Blackshear was the secretary. And she filled out the paperwork and everything. And she said, oh my God, you're number 5,000. We've been waiting on 5,000. We've been waiting on 5,000. She said, you just won $25. I said, for real? So I looked at that as being, I got my $10 back plus, plus 15. I think one of the most 
uh, exciting and probably the most challenging uh, things I did as CEO at SciFair was uh, when CUNA invited uh, our credit union to participate in a group of credit unions they were pulling together to form a CUSO, which is a credit union service organization, for the purpose of indirect lending. C Alliance was born out of uh, the vision of seven credit unions that reside in Houston back in 1998. Seven credit unions got together with a vision to help each other um, retain financing at point of sale with dealerships. They felt dealerships were uh, having their financing sent to finance companies as well as captives and they wanted a piece of that and to be able to retain that uh, for their, uh, their members that were shopping at the dealership. Oh my goodness, I was so thrilled because actually the first week I substituted, somebody told me about the credit union and it was down in a little tiny room by Dean Junior High the first time I went to the credit union to actually sign up to be a member. And I think, I really think it's the best perk of being a Cypress Fairbanks teacher. The Skinner Branch is sort of critical to our growth. As we look at the community expanding, I mean, the school district, the population growing, it's clear that we needed support on the west side of the school district to serve our members. Uh, the community uh, continues to grow that way, and we found that over these last, what, six years, seven years, that that branch has been well received. The legacy of Sci-Fi Federal Credit Union is this fervent desire to write into the stories of the people who come into our offices, who we interact with, that we have the opportunity to help. Uh, we talk a lot about uh, with our employees, with our staff and team members, that every time somebody walks into the credit union, there is a story. There's a story of joy, there's a story of loss, there's a story of need, there's a story that we have the opportunity to write into. And sometimes those interactions are brief, sometimes those transactions uh, are, are longer, and we have just those few moments to write something into that story to make it better than it was when, it first, when they first came into the organization. And I think that's oftentimes the same way school teachers and educators feel in the school district. They have a portion of the day to interact with their students, to pour into their lives, to make their stories better, to help them be better prepared for the next chapter of life, the next grade of, of school. And I can't help but think that the reason that we think so much about the stories and making stories better of people's lives is because that's what the educators who volunteered and started us and poured into us over all those years do in those classrooms every day. I don't think my mother had any idea what the Cypher Credit Union uh, would become, how large. Um, I wish she could be here to see what she had a part of. Um, no, I don't think she had any idea what it would become. She'd be very proud, very proud.